Clark. Hey y'all, this is Kimberly Clark, and welcome to another one of my anti-haul videos, aka what I'm not gonna buy. What I'm not gonna buy. Well, so, uh, I've been away. I've been touring, I've been performing in a bunch of different shows. I've just been around the world, been doing lots of awesome stuff as Kimberly, as Chris, all these different kinds of projects, different people, different things, different gigs, gotta get in this gig, girl. Honestly, I just have not been watching makeup videos. I haven't been following makeup. I've kind of been having like another level of anti-consumerist disconnect. You remember in my first anti-haul video, my first one I'm not gonna buy video, I talk about having this kind of weird experience of looking at all this holiday makeup and not being excited by it and having this kind of weird anti-consumerist watershed moment. I feel like I'm at another level of that again, which is that I can't even look at it. Like I'm not even compelled to learn about the makeup that I'm, that's new and hot and I miss, I, I don't know what it is. I'm just kind of like disconnecting from it. Uh, have I been doing a ton of drag and wearing tons of makeup? Um, yes. Have I been turning some amazing, fabulous looks? Um, yes. And have I been doing it with any new, crazy, trendy makeup that I've purchased in the last couple months? No, I haven't. I actually haven't bought makeup for a really long time. So, so since I've been kind of out of the loop, I don't feel comfortable giving you a kind of full on anti-haul overview as per usual, but this is the mailer that came from Sephora for the 20% off VIB sale. Now, I'm a VIB. I used to be a VIB Rouge, but I'm not anymore. So this is the packet that I got. I don't know if the Rouge packets are any different. These uh, little ad packets, especially in this day and age where we're kind of just constantly getting ads and constantly receiving material and products and stuff and uh, different pamphlets and things, we're kind of just like, we just see them, they come into our brains, they pass, we don't even think about them very much. We don't really remember them once they've gone. And I think part of that kind of like ignorance and bliss surrounding marketing and consumerism is part of the cause of the problem of over consumerism that we have in this world. This anti-haul is gonna be a kind of like reedy, roasty anti-haul. I'm gonna read, I'm gonna read this. I'm gonna read, I'm gonna read, I'm gonna read, I'm gonna read. I'm gonna read this pamphlet of ads from Sephora. All right, let us jump into this educational anti-haul. First off, we've got this. This is what you see on the outside of the mailer. It's in the clear package. It says, Beauty Insider Event Holiday Bonus. Now, I'm already resentful of this because you're saying it's a holiday bonus. Like, congratulations, you get a bonus. Like, it's my job. Like, I'm getting a holiday bonus for work that I'm doing because I've worked so hard all year. Uh, this is a holiday bonus because I've spent money all year. This is literally, congratulations, you've spent money. Here's a little bit of a sale to make you spend more money. Just FYI, that's what that means. The Sephora VIB Rouge sale is happening right now. It's been happening for a little bit, but the VIB sale is November 10th through 15th. So hopefully I'm getting this video up in time to help you deal with that. And then here we go. We've got the card on the back. They always send you one of these cards, but you don't need it to do the shopping on the online or in the store. You could use the online code, which is present everywhere. One whole piece of paper wasted. Great, thank you. Okay, here we go. So this is kind of the main crux of this packet. This is the gift guide. Reach out and gift guide. All exclusive and ready to wrap. Everything you need to surprise, delight, enchant, and spark a connection with all of your one-of-a-kind people. Let's really think about this, okay? Surprise, delight, enchant, and spark a connection. That's a lot. I don't know if I'm gonna spark a connection with anyone. I don't know if I'm interested in that. I have enough connections. I'm connected. I don't need a lipstick to help me make more connections. I can do that very much. Thank you. Oh, and here we go. Here's the cast of character. This is cute. Okay, so this is the Beauty Advisor Approved. This year, our holiday campaign features our fearless staff of makeup, skincare, hair, and fragrance experts. Here, they're bringing you a sneak peek at our best stuff, our hottest products, and the items you'll find on everyone's list, including yours. Including yours. Like, that's not the only list we're shopping for. Let's just be real, okay? I love this. I love that they are showcasing a very diverse, cast of characters in terms of race, 
gender expression. A little bit of age, I mean, everyone looks like a young millennial, so, I mean, obviously target audience is aiming young here. Just, but I love this, I'm happy. I think this is great. I love going to Sephora's to interact with the cast members. I think that's the reason that this store exists. Like, in real life, I love it, it's really nice, and I like having some of them be featured here. So this is all good, I'm good with this. Okay, all right, so here we go. This is Joanna. She's wearing the Too Faced Melted Latex Liquefied High Shine Lipstick and can't touch this. But she's on the page opposite of an eyeshadow palette. This is the Kat Von D Saint and Center eyeshadow palette. I don't think she's wearing this though. It looks like she's wearing the Steel and Magnificent Metals Liquid Glitter pigments on the eye. I mean, it's beautiful look. Very kind of beautiful, simple glitter look. I love it. It's actually gorgeous. But girl, I don't see any of these shades on those eyes. What's happening here? What's the disconnect with the marketing here? I don't understand. Her quote is, they don't have this one? Okay, then let's go get it. You should buy something as a gift for someone be just because they don't have it. That's enough. That's it. No, that's not a reason. They don't have this one. Okay, then let's go get No, no, no. They don't have this one. Let's think about why they don't have that one. Maybe they don't like that shade. Maybe they don't need another lip gloss. Maybe they... Also, what are you talking about? This? This palette? No, no one has this palette. It's really expensive. None of these shades are super... In I mean, it's a beautiful design, like, just overall, but... In terms of layout, come on, this is crazy. This is like a stained glass window of hell of mixed up shadows of all different finishes that is novel, but nowhere near how amazing the Kat Von D Mi Vita Loco Remix palette was from two holiday seasons ago. Yes, I'm gonna still talk about it. Yes, I have it. I love it. It was great. It was limited edition. God damn it, Kat Von D. Make something like that again. I don't need this. Okay, furthermore, here's some more random marketing surrounding this. Use the right side when you're feeling naughty, the left side when you're feeling nice. Now you're telling me how to feel? Now you're saying, oh my god, well I'm feeling naughty. I wish there was some way for me to express my naughtiness. Not by like, you know, owning my sexuality, empowering myself, and taking action. No, but by using the naughty colors. No, no, no. I don't need it, I'm not gonna buy it. Okay, next up, okay, next we have just no people at all. This is the uh, Fenty Beauty by Rihanna. This, this is the Galaxy Eyeshadow Palette. This is, I think, their second release. They had other skincare stuff earlier in the year. I looked at this, I was like, oh, this seems great. It's a shimmery eyeshadow palette, like all center of the lid shades. I feel like I've always wanted one of those, never had one with the best formula. This ain't it. Formula's not good. It's more, it's like the Moon Dye Shadows from Urban Decay, that palette, which some people really like. I did not like it, I've swatched it. This just seems like the kind of glitter, awful glitter bomb experience that I am, you know, I'm just trying, I try to avoid that experience. This palette seems all glitter all the time, all over your face. Not for me, just not for me. What does this say? Gift to the tinsel lover, the life of the party. Does life of the party mean you like glitter fall out all over your face? I don't think so. Pairs well with disco balls and dance floors. First of all, they should say pairs well with a matte eyeshadow palette because you're going to need one because these are all shimmer shades. You can't use it alone. By the by. I mean, I don't need it. I'm not going to buy it. Nope. Next page. Next. Okay, this is, oh God. This is a Tatcha little gift set. Tatcha. Skincare for makeup lovers, Obento set. It's $59, it's $112 value. First of all, this is the Placebo Mist Tatcha Spray that I already talked about. Remember that? Go back, rewind, hear me talk about it. Already did it, Fairy Fart, Placebo Mist, boom. <laughs> Remember that? Then we got some ugh, minis of some really expensive moisturizers and shit. No, what is this, gold? This has gold flakes in it. Gift it to those with a can-do attitude. Can-do, D-W-do. -do. Pairs well with matcha green tea and late-night karaoke. Honey, I'm about to go host some late-night karaoke at Good Friends Bar in the French Quarter every Tuesday. See you there. And I don't think matcha green tea goes well with karaoke. I think the thing that goes well with karaoke is either like a fireball shot or something that will help you get to the place that you need to get to in relationship to your own inhibitions to be able to sing your heart out in a room full of strangers. But if for you, if matcha, if matcha green tea does that for you, then by all, by all means, matcha it up, but don't touch it up. I'd take matcha over tatcha any day. Sorry, I don't need it, I'm not gonna buy it, I don't care if it's a gift set, no. Ooh, all right, next. Ooh, we've got Perla. She's from Edmonton, Alberta. Oh, she's from Canada. Think of their personality. So when they open the gift, they're like, yes! First of all, I will say I'm respecting the use of the gender neutral pronouns 
envies something they don't have think of their I like that I'm happy with that singular they it's the future get used to it people she's wearing bite beauty and moose boosh lipstick and beetroot what cute I like that shade it's really cute and then we got drunk elephant on the others what why isn't the bite beauty thing over here this is a drunk elephant hot date kit it's $98 I have a full video review in the works about Drunk Elephant. As you may know, Drunk Elephant sent me uh, like their entire line of skincare products to try. Tried them out for two months. Stopped using them for a couple months actually, and so I have like a very kind of clear opinion about them. I guess I can safely say if you want a real like legit expert opinion about Drunk Elephant as a skincare line, please check out Stephanie Cole's video on it. Uh, I, she will be able to provide more detail than I could dream of providing. Anyway, I think this is kind of a ripoff. Uh, if you want to spend $94, I would just get one product and try it from Drunk Elephant. I would not get this set. I think their kind of gimmick, which is a smart gimmick for them from a marketing perspective, is to have their products be kind of heightened when used in combination. So that's why this includes some marula oil, it includes some uh, a cleanser, and some, I don't know what this whipped creme foulette, foulette, I don't know what that is, but the marula oil is pairs very well with the night serum. And so by including them both in this packet, you're gonna use up the marula oil and then you're gonna wanna buy the marula oil, which is like another 80 bucks or whatever. It's just like kind of more ways to get you spending more and more money. Gift it to night owls, pairs well with silk pajamas and a nightcap. I'm a night owl, and frankly, because I'm a night owl, I had trouble putting on the night serum at night because I would stay up all night, be working, and then be like, well, I'm going to bed, but it's... So I don't actually think a night serum for a night owl is a good gift. I would say get a kind of morning wake-up refresher serum for a night owl just because then it'll wake them up because they're probably tired because they've been up all night. I'm thinking of a night owl's personality, just like Perla is suggesting, and I'm imagining them opening a night serum and not going, yes, but going, huh. Anyway, I don't need it. I'm not going to buy it. Bye. Okay, next. Okay, we got some fresh Best of Beauty Bundle. $70. Gifted to Doodlers DIYers. Wrap it in brown paper twine and a sprig of pine. Don't do that. Don't wrap it in a pine. Don't get pine. Pine sap. You're going to get pine sap everywhere. That's going to be gross. Don't do it. The person you're giving it to is going to be angry at you if you give them a sprig of pine. I'm just saying. Especially with a skincare situation because then you're going to have a sticky sap all over your, it's gonna get all over the packaging when you're trying to open it to even see what it is. It's gonna be a mess, you're not gonna like it. No, don't. We've got the Dyson Blown Away gift set. Way is French for yeah, but it's also a line of hair care products, I guess, so. Gift to those who use their hairbrush as a microphone pairs well with 90s jams and pre-date jitters. Okay, let me just address this. This is a $400 hairbrush. If you have a friend who uses her hair dryer as a microphone, why don't you get her like a micro, like a karaoke machine. Don't get them a $400 hair dryer so they could use it as a microphone. Like, that's weird. Don't you think that's kind of weird? Weird choice of words there. Does anyone read these? No one, they don't think anyone's gonna read these. That's why they're so bad. Because no one, they definitely don't think the drag queen's gonna go through word by word roast this shit on the internet, but we have to, we have to hold these people accountable for everything they do and say, it's just the way, we need to be more aware of what's going on and how we're being marketed to. Yes, next. Oh God, oh no. Holiday Kiss Collection. This is a whole bunch of lipsticks that are holiday releases. Uh, you know what, I feel like I should, maybe I should make a tutorial on how to like bedazzle your own lipstick packaging because I see so many videos, especially like the whole matte collection with this new sparkly packaging. I see so many people being like, oh my God, I gotta buy it just for the packaging. I know I already have this shade, but the packaging, the holiday packaging, honey, uh, no, don't buy it for the packaging. If you want the lipstick, buy the full size. Don't buy it just cause it's holiday packaging. No, I can't, this is too much crap for me to even talk about. I'm sorry. Holiday Kiss Collection. All right, next up, we've got Allie. She's wearing Kat Von D's Everlasting Liquid Lipstick in Double Dare. It has a really cute reverse gold manicure, and then she's across from an eyeshadow palette, which it really looks like she's not even wearing, because she's wearing, like, some peachy pink stuff that I don't even see that shade in here. I'm, there's no way she's wearing this eyeshadow palette. She's saying, is it possible to have too many palettes? Heck no! It is possible to have. I'm. I hate to disagree with you, Allie, because you're you're beautiful, and I and congrats for being for being featured. Just, I love that. I would see. I want to know what eyeshadow palette she's wearing, because I actually kind of like it. But obviously, it's not this boring, muted shimmer crap explosion, which is the Sephora collection Easy on the Eyes palette. Nope, nope. Thanks. Bye. Not even gonna talk about you. you. Don't need that. Oh, what is this horrible typography? Ugh, gross. What is Aladdin? Like, I don't need. This is disgusting. Get out of here. Is that Comic Sans? Bye. 
Bye. Is it possible to have too many eyeshadow? Yes, of course it is. It's possible to, we probably all have too many eyeshadow. If you're watching this video, you have too many eyeshadow palettes. The faster you accept that, the more you will be irritated when ads like this tell you that you don't have too many eyeshadow palettes. That's a lie, Allie. Don't, you're lying to me. I think there's this like thing about wokeness, which is like a lot of people are like wary of it because I think they think that when you clue in to more of the undercurrent of capitalism and consumerism and like corporate interests and like the ways uh, that corruption works to kind of unjustly shape our social landscape. When you get clued into those things, it's kind of, it makes you look at everything kind of with this side eye critical lens. And it makes you think a lot about things that you haven't been thinking about. And it makes you kind of, you know, have more of a shitty time. More, it makes life a little more annoying because you can't just look at an ad like this and get excited. You have to think about what they're meaning, what they're trying to sell, what they're doing, everything. And that's true. It's gonna, it's gonna ruin a lot of shit like this. Like, there might have been a time where I would have, like, curled up with a hot cocoa and read this in, like, a fun way, like, next to my sewing project that I'm working on. Oh, by the way, I made this dress. We're gonna get more into that in a later videos. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. Dresses, fun things, get ready. Next, we've got Nest. Oh god, these are candles. I I'm being sold candles at Sephora now? What is this? Like fourth grade? Am I in a Yankee candle competition? What's going on? Gifted to those for whom self-care is a way of life. Self-care is a really tricky concept to be critical of because it's really important. You know, there's a lot more awareness of the struggle that different types of people with different experiences go through, and self-care is a really important part of keeping the people that are keeping the fight alive, making sure that they're taking care of themselves. I think it's really easy, especially when you're fighting for someone else's justice, to kind of forget about yourself and not take care of yourself. And in that sense, self-care is really important. Now that could mean, you know, cutting out dangerous relationships in your life. It could be doing the KonMari method. It could be, you know, eating a meal that makes you feel comforting or comfortable or safe. You know, those are all forms of self-care. When a candle company, is trying to sell me on the importance of self-care with your gingerbread candle, birch wood pine scented candle. No. If self-care is a way of life, good for you. As long as it's a way of you keeping your life together while you're fighting for other people's justice, then that's fine. If self-care is a way of life for you and your own selfish experience and that's it, then you're not getting a candle. Get it together! Pay attention to other people! Other people exist! Uh, see, this is my problem. Like, I get too into getting frustrated about this is what, this is fair godmother shop, shop, shop. I don't know what you want from me. This is how I look at a little pamphlet. Oh my god. Teja from Sephora, New York. She says, everybody needs a bit of pampering, and that's exactly what Sephora offers. When I think of pampering, I don't think of this. This is Elizabeth and Jane's mini perfume set. That doesn't bring me personal pampering joy. That just makes me smell okay when I go out into the world. And it's an excuse for me to not wash any of my wigs. It's Elizabeth and James Nirvana. Oh, look, it has the same terrible typography as the other Sephora thing from a couple pages ago. Ugh, what? Whose font is this? What's? Who's responsible for this awful brush script? Oh my god, it says, smells best in a dark corner of a speakeasy. Oh, I don't need it. I'm not going to buy it. Elizabeth and James Nirvana little box set, little set. No. All right, and then we got an, Oh my god, there's so much more. Belief Holly Jolly Hydration Set. $38, $60. Value. I actually uh, have tried some of these Belief products, like in samples and stuff. I kind of like it. I like the Water Bomb, Aqua Bomb, whatever they are. Gift it to those who are a little rough around the edges. If somebody bought me this and then I saw this ad, I'd be like, what are you. Did you. What do you think is rough about? What do you think is rough around my edges? Like, are you... What? Oh my god, and the only thing that they could add about this to make you want to buy it is BIG IN KOREA! Now, uh, if you're not familiar with Orientalism, it's when a colonizing culture like the West, America, 
Western Europe looks to the East or the Orient and fetishizes them in an inappropriate and inaccurate way. Marketing a product like big in Korea, Korean beauty, all this Korean stuff, that's a form of, that's a form of Orientalism. It's something that like we don't understand completely from a very like first person perspective. It's like another place on the other side of the world that we can, you know, be inspired by and influenced by without completely understanding it. One of my subscribers commented on uh, one of my posts, I don't know if I was talking about Korean beauty products or something, but they were kind of talking about the intenseness of the beauty standards in Korea and how as Westerners, we kind of look at these products and this culture as this kind of like very healthy, skincare driven, beautifying culture, but there's like another side to it which is kind of embedded in the same kind of patriarchy and misogyny that we see in our culture. So I think it's just really interesting to kind of see the whole nuance of all beauty experiences all around the world, especially when they're in places that are not immediately accessible to us and they're from cultures that are different than ours. I think it's just interesting and important to take everything into account when thinking about those things. So that's just like my little thought about Orientalism when it comes to makeup. Just you know, mull it over. This is all about thinking. Okay, and then finally, ugh, all right, Shimei, Shimei from San Francisco. She's wearing uh, more Smashbox, okay. And she says, it's every brush a person would need. I can't wait to get it myself. It's a Sephora brush set. I don't like these uh, because it says it pairs well with YouTube tutorials. Listen, watch any of my YouTube tutorials. Could you use any of these brushes? Maybe that powder brush, maybe that contour brush. No, no, no. No, yes, maybe, no, no, yes, no, and no. I, like, no. No, that's it. That's the book. That's the gift guide. Reach out and gift guide. I'm going to reach out and throw this in the garbage is what I'm going to do. That's what's going to happen. All right, let's move on. We've got a lot more shit to get through. God. This is a piece of paper that says, this just smells so you. This is a bunch of fragrance samples. Let's just go through them. Let's smell them. Okay, we got Gucci Bloom. This is a gift to someone sophisticated, someone complicated. Remind her of a sunset walk through an intoxicating tropical garden. I've never walked through a tropical garden on sun at sunset, but oof. I don't know if I'd want to based on the way this smells. Mew Mew Le Bleu Le Bleu. Gift to the joyful, the fearless. Interesting note, we suddenly become gendered in these. Before everything was they, 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 now it's her. Remind her of wearing a new sundress on the first warm day of spring. I actually, this is kind of nice. It's a little rosy, but a little citrusy or something. But does it make me think of what I wore? Oh my god, two Marc Jacobs. Gift to old souls and the young at heart. Are these two different ones? One's an old, one's a young? Let's see if I can guess which one. Daisy. Oh, this is Daisy. I like Daisy. And this is Daisy Oh So Fresh. This is actually my favorite, favorite Marc Jacobs fragrance. I don't, I can't tell which one is the young at heart and which one's the old souls. Am I the young one? I think I'm the young one. I think I like Oh So Fresh. I think that's the young one. Oh my god, my youth has been affirmed by a piece of paper in a free mailer. Hooray! I'm not gonna buy any more Marc Jacobs either. I'm still not satisfied with him and how he dealt with all those freaking dreadlock things on the runway, all that exploitation, awful white privilege bullshit. Ugh. Google it. If you want to know about Marc Jacobs and his complete lack of awareness of other cultures, check it out. Google it. All right, next up, gift to the girl who's had four hair colors this year. Oh, this is Kat Von D's Saint and Sinner. Sinner. Hmm. Saint. Hmm. The Saint-Sinner dichotomy is a little lost on me. I, you know, I was raised atheist. My parents were both raised Catholic, so I had some kind of influence of Catholicism and mythology, like, in my life, but not enough for me to rebel against it and or have an interest to fetishize it with perfumes. Uh, Saint, sinner, I'm not, that's not a selling point for me. I don't know which of these smells is morally good or bad uh, based on smelling them, nor do I want to affix any kind of moral affiliation with scents. If I can avoid it, I'm just gonna do that. So I'm just gonna avoid that from you. Ooh, Versace, bright crystal. Gift to girls, girls, and guys, guys. So gays? Just gay people? Is that what that means? Remind her of summertime cocktails on a penthouse terrace. It kind of just smells like soap. I don't, that doesn't remind me of cocktails on a penthouse terrace. That just reminds me of soap. 
That's all the perfumes. Okay, and then are we almost done? What's this? Oh, okay. Another piece of paper. This says, gift it to you, those who love to shop. What she really wants is a day of guilt-free shopping. Gift cards of $50 or more can be redeemed for a custom makeover to accompany her fragrance purchase. If you want guilt-free shopping, you're going to need more than free money at Sephora. If you want to talk about guilt and ethics, watch more of my videos, but do not buy someone a gift card at Sephora. There's... Your guilt costs more than that. Let me just tell you. Girl. Oh, almost done, but there's more... Oh, what is this? Okay. Use our paper and tags to make your present extra special. Oh, so this is wrapping paper. And these are some horrible, rude stickers. This said, wanted this for me, but I got it for you. How passive-aggressive is that? I really wanted this for me, but I got it for you. I just wanted you to know how much I sacrificed for you to get this discounted makeup product. What does this other one say? Remember how we said no gifts? I lied. So does that mean you want a gift from me if you, wait, you, you lied? So do I have to go get you a gift? What does that mean? I don't know what that, I don't like that. Oh, and then the wrapping paper. Oh, okay. I like wrapping paper. You know how I like wrapping paper, but cool meta, meta wrapping paper. It's got wrapped presents on it. Interesting. Oh my god. But then, ugh. It's just a whole ad hell poster with all the Sephora VIB favorites packages on it. Oh, ew. AKA the gift that literally everyone will love. I don't think that's proper grammatic use of the word literally. I don't think my dad would love any of these. That's literally not everyone. So, imagine a grand tour of five-star skincare or a round of lipstick speed dating where every option is a winner. Have you ever been speed dating? You know, there's never a situation where every option's a winner and you don't want it to be because you got shit to do. You got a pint of ice cream to eat back at home. You gotta get out of there, get in, get out, get one or two phone numbers, move along. Do not buy these. It's just gonna give you more things to try out that you already can go try out at Sephora, ask for a sample, any of the skincare stuff you want to try out, where is it? Get samples that you don't have to pay for this, you can go get free samples at Sephora. You're gonna try some of these, you're gonna fall in love with some of them, then you're gonna be mad, you're gonna want to buy more, you're gonna spend more money, it's all a vicious cycle. You know how these sample kits work to get you, I've talked about it before, I'm not gonna talk about it now. This is the end, this is the end of the Sephora package. I, I know some of you are probably going to be like bored or frustrated with this version of an anti-haul or some of you might even say oh, that's not Kimberly that's not really an anti-haul you didn't do the little thing and the boop and the bing and the you know all that stuff uh but I hope this video was helpful though because I hope it showed you a little bit of my direct interaction with advertising. So when I look at things like that, I think about all this this stuff and it demystifies it for me a little bit. It kind of helps me have a more clear head when I think about whether I really need something, really want something, or how I'm going to relate to that item as like a, a product, if I want to buy it or not. And I hope this inspires you to be a little bit more critical of how you view advertising and media and all these aspects of consumerism that are just so overwhelming and are all ever present and especially this time of year with all the holiday stuff and the gifting and blah, 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 the Black Friday and all that stuff. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's a lot. So, I, no. I'm putting an end to it. I'm saying no. I'm saying I'm going to be smart. I'm going to look at advertising. I'm going to be intelligent. I'm going to analyze the media that's coming into my world. I'm going to call it out when it is corporate, paid for, sponsored ridiculousness and I'm gonna celebrate it when it's not. The next video that I'm about to film is a haul of indie and local items that I bought from my travels around the world. Please check out that video if you want to see some kind of indie ways to support local businesses, uh, maybe even a local business near you, because I've been a lot of places, people. Also to get a little update about where I've been and what I've been doing and get a little life update from me, please check out that video. Uh, until then, subscribe if you haven't already. Give this video a thumbs up. If you really want to support me, go ahead and become a patron of mine on Patreon. Every little bit helps. If you're already supporting me on Patreon, thank you so much. You're the reason these videos happen and continue to happen. Very, very excited about a lot of things coming up. And I'm excited to be back. Thank you so much for sticking around and for bearing with me with this crazy schedule of videos that I'm posting, trying to get all these old videos that I'm editing up and 
get all this new stuff out and try to get it together. So thank you, thank you for being here. Let's be strong together and fight this holiday overspending season. We can do it, you can do it, you can do it. You don't need it, you're not gonna buy it. Thanks for watching. I'm Kimberly Clark, bye.